What is up everybody? And here's the question of the day. Is a Canon L lens that much better than a Canon 9L lens? Well today we're gonna find out. So I went in my bag and grabbed a couple of lenses. I have the 24 to 70 2.8 and the 28 to 135 3.5 to 5.6. Now to start off, both of these lenses are kind of made of a plastic but the 24 to 7 is made up of more of a, a tough industrial like plastic and the 28 to 135 is though it's not a cheap feel you can definitely feel the difference now they both have metal mounts so a lot of lower model non L lenses have plastic well, not a lot, but a few of them, like the 50 millimeter 1.8. But yeah, the max aperture, obviously the 24 to 7 blows blows this away. This is a variable aperture, which means it rotates. I mean, the aperture change when you zoom when you zoom the lens. So you know, some people is okay are okay with that, and some people not. All right, the lens construction. Of the 28 to 135 is 16 elements in 11 groups uh, with an inner focusing system and an ultrasonic motor and it uses a 72 millimeter filter with a rotating zoom type mechanism and the 24 to 7 well you know the max aperture is 2.8 and the lid construction of 16 elements in 13 group with a front focus method and it has a rotating type zoom system and a 77 millimeter filter and it also comes with a lens hood at which all L lenses come with lens hoods and pouches even though the pouch for this is nothing special so yeah a lot of people grab L lenses because of the build quality and the status quo when people see them with that red ring around their lens you know it, it you feel like King Kong, you feel like Macho Man or something. But I done seen professionals and I talked to professionals that could care less whether it was a L lens or not. And I seen they work and they get some pretty amazing pictures. So I don't know, it's to each his own. I don't know if it's just the people that, that well, I don't want to say know what they're doing because I would take a better built car or a better built lens over. A, a, a lesser and I believe most people would but this lens this non L lens it comes with image stabilizer and the 24 to 7 doesn't but there's a thousand dollar difference between these lenses yeah a thousand dollar difference so it's the 24 to 7 worth a thousand 24 to 70 excuse me worth a thousand dollars more over this 9L lens. Well, let's go take some pictures and a little video clip and let's go find out. Okay guys, so there you have it. Now, with the 28 to 135, I shot that using my 7D. And I shot the photos of with the 24 to 70. Excuse me, the 24 to 70, I used my 60D. Now, judging by the photos, they look pretty close. But when I cropped them both to 100%, the L lens clearly was sharper. It blew it blew the nine L away. So, better optics, better build quality, a uh, 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 steep price, fourteen hundred dollars for the twenty four to seventy, and four hundred dollars for the twenty eight to one thirty five. But you take a look and you decide and you and leave a, a comment. And if you like the video, 
please subscribe. Because next, I'm going to do a video. I didn't put the video in here because both batteries on both cameras died on me. I didn't have them ready. I should have charged them before I did this. So my next video will be the uh, video samples. Alright guys, thanks.